Extra, extra, Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope, it is an energy reading. So Taurus, sun, moon, rising, or if you're dealing with a Taurus, all of that applies. Come and enjoy the video. There are so many Taurus videos in the weekly Zodiac playlist. Please go check them out because even though I call them weeklies, it's not because the energy just dissipates after a week. No, it's because there's a new Taurus video every single week. And so if you really love this video, click subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll know as soon as, um, you'll know as soon as I upload your favorite content. Always check out your rising sign and your moon sign too, because a lot of times they'll resonate with you a lot deeper. Um, there's always an extended reading. So the reading will begin, with Taurus, with your uh, crowning energy, which is the energy that influences all the other, basically the theme for the, for the reading. And then um, your central energy, which is the primary challenges that you're experiencing right now. And then your grounding energy, which is what's holding you down and getting you through. And if you choose after that, there is an extended reading, which is a full tarot card spread that really susses out the details and personalizes the energies we pick up on here. Uh, that link is in the description box below and it includes a full romance reading as well. So, just so you know, Taurus, got your crowning energy. Let's start there. Learn from the past. Elephants never forget. But you know what? Do we, do they learn? You know, just because you have the information in your head doesn't mean you've actually used it to improve you or your current situation. So this is a sense of, cause this is your energy. This is, this is Taurus energy, kind of stampeding and pushing, um, could be stampeding over pushing through issues and obstacles or being defensive could very well be being defensive because whatever has come up recently, you remember the way that it impacted you. You remember the way that it affected you from the past. You remember that. And because you remember it, you're on guard and you're ready to just barrel through. This is the energy of actually learning from the past and taking steps to improve upon what you have learned. Um, that is essential for this energy. So whatever is coming up into your life, and we're going to get into it, there is that sense of knowing how to handle it and how to handle yourself in the situation when you didn't know how to handle yourself previously. And having learned that from a very similar situation that happened to you, and it could be from a similar person, could be from a similar circumstance, similar situation and atmosphere, lots of different things. But ultimately there is that sense, Taurus, that you have gained a higher ground and a stronger footing and no better than to get yourself into any kind of crap regarding like any kind of crap that is is surrounding you right now or regarding this person or circumstance uh gemini energy sing your own song um this is communication maybe even music or hearing a lot of a, a lot of uh songs that you remember it could very well be communications or music coming through or a person communicating through music maybe trying to charm you um also maybe just Maybe just let me get into the next card because that's really subjective energy. Dream the world into being. It's almost like hearing something from your past. Like a song comes on the radio or a voice comes back, a, a friend or a family member, somebody from your past has arrived. This sense of, because this is a card of the future being influenced by the past. So something in your present has been influenced by what happened in the past and there is that sense of remembering it 
something reminding you of it. Hearing music all the time. There's something with music or somebody calling you. Let spirit be your guide. Three plus two is the energy of five. So this is having that aerial perspective point of view and being tapped into what spirit is. Yeah, you're definitely getting fucking messages. You're, there's a sense of that you are steeped right now, Taurus, in constantly turning on the radio, you hear a specific song. Turning on a radio, you hear an ad for something that you... And then, um, like, like uh, hearing somebody's voice and it reminding you of somebody else's voice. It, it just bringing and stirring up memories. And all of that is happening to you because in the future, coming in the future, watch out. That's the warning. Like, Hawk shows up usually as a warning to say, watch out. Watch out because it's coming. So, Taurus, somebody is definitely coming back into your life from the past. That you are going to be defensive about. You're going to be on guard with. This is your central energy. Wisdom, understanding, seeing the truth about a circumstance or a situation. Getting it, finally seeing it. Cutting clear through all the bullshit and all the dark. Even if they think they have you in the dark or they have you in the fog, this is the energy of no, they don't. Of looking at something objectively, seeing it extremely clearly, so that nobody can convince you otherwise. And it's not your stubbornness. It's because you get it. It's like the aha cannot be taken away from you. But this is wisdom. This could also be taking really good advice. Counseling. Um, um, lear like learning. Learning. Learning through a counselor. Taking that advice. Believing them. And not having to like push the envelope right and and force yourself to learn on your own no this is a sense of taking that good advice or just knowing and understanding at a level that you hadn't understood before um slow and steady wins the race you don't want to rush into anything in fact you're being very emotionally guarded right now because there's a feeling around you that you know something is coming back you know it. And so you're almost trying to like brace yourself for it. But this isn't a particular, particularly defensive energy. This is actually a very strong energy. It's kind of like the King of Cups. He knows his value and he doesn't give his attention to everybody. And he sure as heck doesn't allow everybody into his emotional space. Because he is a king. And he realizes that there's only certain people who are worthy of being allowed into his emotional kingdom. So he is very, very confident about the shell that he wears. It's not too heavy for him. It feels good to him because he's developed it over time to be that natural sense of I'm at home and I feel safe wherever I go because I'm not even going to acknowledge you unless you're worth my time. So this is a sense of you having over the years grown so much more discerning and so much more in tune with what it is you really want out of your life. This could also be a sense of you feel that somebody's been coming, somebody's coming closer and you're on guard from it or you're trying to prepare yourself for it because you could feel it coming in the air at night. You know, like Phil Collins, you could feel it. So... You don't, you know, you're preparing yourself for it, especially emotionally. And then we have sweet results await. So you've worked very, very hard on something. That's probably what you're guarding. Something that you've built steadily over time. And you don't want anybody to interfere with it, block it, or in any way, shape, or form, steal that honey. Okay? No Winnie the Poohs are welcome here. He didn't work for that damn honey. And he knows it. He just wants to stick his little hand in the tree and get some sweetness. And you're like, no, 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 no. I worked for this sweetness. It's mine and you need to earn this shit. That's the mentality. That really is. It is. Um, plus, but also I have to say this is a sense of moving slow and believing in yourself and really enjoying the work that you're doing. You know, this is the sweetness Part of what you're involved in right now, part of the sweetness is the work itself. You're really loving the work. Um, it's definitely going to be paying off. And then set healthy boundaries, which is also Cancerian energy, meaning that, yes, you might be a little bit too on guard. You might be a little bit, you might be obstructing too much and keeping too much out 
putting your defenses up too high or the walls too thick. Cause this is, see, he's like being crushed under that heavy shell. There's that sense of a really tender underbelly being weighed down by a lot of armor that doesn't enable you to really move around or live in a way that you want to live there's just too much defensiveness here this is set healthy boundaries which means your boundaries aren't healthy they aren't healthy so either they're too low and you're too open but i don't see that to be totally honest with you um but then again i'm reading these cards assuming that you already know and feel this energy so i could be the messenger that's saying you need to get on guard you need to build your walls a little bit thicker. Be aware because there is somebody that might be trying to dip into yo honey. Bring your ideas to life. Four plus two is six, which references love. Um, so love and connection and communion with each other. This is a sense of um, something new happening, a spark that comes back or something shocking that's happened to you. But what it really is, is a commitment, is finding that special ingredient to what you are trying to create and bring to life and what you are building. And there is a sense of newness and freshness here. Um, what might be new is the fact that you are starting from a much, much wiser perspective and you know what to look out for this time around so that you don't run into the same pitfalls. This is a sense of be fearless and bold. No, you're being hesitant and quite careful. This is that, that energy of Bring your ideas to life, but be extremely hesitant and careful with them. You are moving very slowly here, Taurus. I think you feel comfortable, more comfortable moving slowly now. This is also a sense of parts of your life starting to be restored after maybe chunks of it have been taken away. Whether it had been by the quarantine or by your present employer or etc. etc. This is a sense of trying to find yourself again and who you are and what you want your life to look like after a lot of things have crumbled. Um, and then sometimes life stings is here. This is, um, how is this holding you down? This is a sense of almost appreciating the discomfort that you're feeling right now because it helps you be alert. It helps you stay aware. It helps you stay on guard. This is scorpionic energy, maybe being stung, being nitpicked, being talked about on the internet or talking too much on the internet, perhaps a little too much Facebook debating for y'all. This is that sense of needling or nagging and maybe that's what it is. It's like you just keep needling and nagging somebody um, or somebody keeps needling and nagging you to get something done, keep get something done, get something done. It's almost like this pressure to get something done, but you want to go more slowly. You don't want, you want to slow things down. You don't want it constantly pressuring you and pushing you, but that's what's going on right now. That's this energy of get it done, get it done to get it done. And you always feel like you're being steamrolled. This is the real issue. And I think that's maybe what you're so defensive about is people putting shit into your face right now. It's not that you don't want to deal with it. It's that you don't want to be fucking responsible for dealing with it all at once right now. You're like, no, I'll deal with a little bit right now and then I'll deal with the next, the rest of it next week. Stop pushing me to say it's got to be right here, right now. There is this energy of pushing back against people who would push you that way. Realizing that it did not work out in the past when people treated you like that. So guess what? At this point, if you see those red flags coming up, Taurus, you're not having it. You're basically saying, uh, pesticide, please. You're irritating the crap out of me. And no, I know that this mentality doesn't work for me. I see where it leads and it's really, it nags me. It's like, it's like once again, being diminished and being nagged and being bothered and being picked apart once again. And you're like, I don't want that again. I want something that makes me feel different because right now what's really holding you down is the memory of how shitty it felt to be treated as something different, to be treated otherwise. And that it's just, listen, that's what you're guarding against. That's what you're protecting yourself against. And from this central energy, there's a wisdom to it. There's a really good reason why you feel these things right now, Taurus. I also think maybe other people 
would back you up here because they've seen it too. You could be getting a phone call from a Gemini that you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, or you could be dealing with delays um, or hesitations or people, a Cancerian that's sort of blocking you out and blocking progress from being made. You can switch up those zodiac signs, but those are the two major themes if you're dealing with specifically with people. Those two major dynamics. Either somebody is kind of keeping you out and not letting you move forward. And like, even though the work is wonderful, they're slowing it down. Or somebody's coming back in that, you know, spirit is really warning you about and saying, be wary. Just take another look at this circumstance because this person is going to reemerge all of a sudden and maybe expect you to just go back to the way things were and you're not going to do it. Now, this doesn't have to be romance. This could be your job, you know, your, a, a, an old employer calling you back and saying, you know, and like, yay, I want a job, you got a job, but they're not giving you a raise. In fact, they're giving you a pay cut, something like that. This energy of just be wary of what this person is. I keep grabbing here because I always wear a, a chain and I'm not wearing it right now. And that's why I'm like, <laughs> um, just be, just be wary. And I think that you really are wary. I am going to get deeper into this. This is a good time to get into the tarot card spread. So Taurus, please do join me over in the extended. The link is below. And of course, it includes your romance reading. Let's dig in.